All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft here on Magic Online. Uh, Frank, Mike, and uh, today we're going to do a sweet stipulation. We wanted to do this yesterday, but people didn't seem... People seemed averse to it. Uh, today we're going to try it, though, because it seems fun. We're going to take the worst card in the pack, which is kind of a strange thing to do in the cube because they're all good cards. Um, but I'm really interested in what the worst... What do you think the worst card in this pack is? I think it's Prowler. You think Una's Prowler is the worst card? You think it's worse than, like, Force Spike or Disenchant or Nature's Claim? Nature's Claim is still good in this cube. Well. But I think this is much more narrow than, than Una's Prowler, you know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> and I think someone said you can at least stick to colors, and I think that's a reasonable request, because otherwise you're just going to have a deck that you can't even play. Full of bad cards. I think if we stick to colors, we can take the worst card in that color. Maybe it's Searing Sphere? I think that card's actually fine. I think it's probably Disenchant. I'm going to say Disenchant. Or Force Spike. I think Una's Prowler is actually fine. You can build a reanimator around Una's, Una's Prowler. This is an interesting pack. I think the worst card by far is Empty the Warrens. Do you really? Yeah. We're not going to be able to build a storm deck taking the worst cards. I was going to say Mox Diamond. Really? Yeah, solely because no one ever plays it. Empty for sure. Empty without storm. Okay. I mean, yeah, you guys seem to think it's empty without storm. I maybe that's true. Oh, oh, that's loud. Oh my God, Robert, dude. <laughs> Oh, God. Thank you for the donation, Robert. Really appreciate it, buddy. You are awesome. I'm going to take this Empty the Warrens. I think... Uh, hope, hopefully we don't draft Storm, which is such a weird thing to say. It's an interesting pack. It's obviously not any of the Planeswalkers, right? Probably Urborg. You think it's Urborg? I was going to actually say Gutter Snipe. Gutter Snipe. Gutter Sniping is probably going to be real sad, though. If someone says Gutter Snipe, I'm coming for you. Yes, yes. I do think it's Gutter Snipe, though. You <laughs> Unsubbed. Oh, man. You think it's Urborg? Uh-huh. I wish we should exclude lands, because then we'd probably just be taking a lot of lands. Yeah, I think it's. I think the lands are always going to be uh, some of the worst cards. Yeah, I've been ignoring all of the Magic Gate stuff, so... I'm gonna take Gutter Snipe. Oh, dumb as fucker. Thank you so much for the sub, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Soul Tide Brood. You are awesome. This is an interesting pack. Eureka, not close. Is it Eureka? Yeah. I mean, for our deck, it's just utterly terrible. But isn't that... Like, are we sticking to colors? Because if I think we're sticking to colors, it's Rift Bolt. Or Vryn Wingmare. <clears throat> Ritual's pretty bad. All right, we'll try. Yeah, I think Eureka. Sure. I, I think Eureka is going to be absolutely terrible for this. Let's not stick to colors. Oh, boy. Chart of Course, is that, the, is that the worst card in this pack? Um, it might be. Seems accurate. What do you think? I think it's Charter Course. Findhorn or Miracle Spell? You think those are the worst? You think those are better? You think those are worse than Charter Course? No way. It's got to be Charter Course. I don't know if we will have a deck. That's what's going to be funny, right? Goblin Guide? Goblin Guide seems terrible. Yeah, pretty bad. Or we can just take a Light Line, main deck Light Line. Oh, oh boy. 
I mean, we have to be able to play the deck, right? Hoss Mania, I like that you looked at the deck and you're like, are you doing the worst card stipulation? <laughs> what did you say? I said, we can't play Gleyline because like, we have to have a playable deck at least. I'll take Goblin Guide. I, I think Goblin Guide's pretty bad. Oh, Leyline is a blank. Yeah, all right, we'll take Leyline. We're doing the worst cards, so Leyline it is. Yeah, but then we won't actually be able to play our deck. Well, we're not there yet, so that's we're good. We're pretty close. Is Manic Vandal the worst card in this pack? No. Is it Razor Verge Thicket? We can ignore lands. I think it's Bring Delight. <laughs> oh, it is Bring Delight. You're right. That's pretty rough. But that does hit Eureka and Chart. Oh, God, that's real bad. Whoo! Porcelain Legionnaire? Delver, way worse. Not in this deck, buddy. <laughs> Alright, we'll take the Delver. Five color Delver. <laughs> oh, God. Look, Nature's Claim and Perala came back. Force Spike? It's Force Spike, right? I guess. It's gotta be Force Spike. It's not these two. These two are fine. Una's Prowler is an engine. Necropotence is Necropotence. Nature's Claim is pretty useful. Searing Spear is fine. Necropotence might actually be the worst card in the pack. I think it's Spike. It might be Necro. Actually, it might be Necro. Is it Hazaret? Oh, yeah. Big time. It's definitely Hazaret. Oh, yeah. Big tip. Yeah, we'll Hazaret. I think it's, I guess, it's probably like, I feel like it seems, seems pretty good, actually. I guess it's probably the worst card in this pack, yeah. All right. Wow, all two, like two of the three cards uh, that I was thinking of taking are still here. It's just, it's just yeah. full, right? Oh, the Bonfire, all right. Yeah, Bonfire is probably not great. I think it's worse than these two. All right. Oh, Goblin Guy came back, too. Nice. And Oath of Druids. Okay. Yeah, we gotta pick some colors. Though. I feel like we're, we're looking at Jeskai. We're looking at Jeskai. Uh... Oh my god, of course we open Mox Sapphire, Bribery, and Soul Ring. Oh my god. No exceptions. Um, I think Wall Omens is the worst card in the pack. I God, we're passing a Soul Ring and a Mock Sapphire, dude. Bribery, opposition, a wheel. Actually, Shallow Grave is probably the worst card. What is? Shallow Grave? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think Shallow Grave is actually fine. Oh my God, Soul Ring, Mock Sapphire. Yeah, we're going to have a heck of a pass. Oh, Spear of Heal Out actually might be worse than Wall of Omens. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think this is pretty rough. We're going to have a way to win the game. We have one Delver of Secrets. Of course we can win the game. <sighs> I double clicked on it and Magic Online was like, no, don't. Look at this weird true name. Oh, dang it. It was changed. Is it a Dantos Vanguard? Is that the worst card in this pack? Uh, that or Vortex, I think. Oh, it might be Sulfuric Vortex, actually. I mean, just I'm I'm, glad, I'm grateful these aren't actual money cards because oh god, I almost did a thing. Um, I think it's either a vortex, vortex or or vanguard. Oh boy, that's ridiculous. Someone's gonna be shipped a soul ring and a and a mock sapphire, and they're gonna be like, "Is this guy drunk?" Yeah. Who are we passing to? Yeah, all the all the cube drafts are fan drafts. Thankfully, you don't think it's mental misstep. Oh god, you're right it is. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh god, counter your one drop. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty I'm pretty sure it's mental misstep. Chain lightning is actually useful in a deck like this. Oh my god. I'm gonna put these in the sideboard for now and just assume this is 
This is going to be our deck. <clears throat> this is funny. This is a funny pack because, like, there's a lot of good cards for us that are actually not great in general. Yeah, it's misstep. Lion's Eye Diamond is by far the worst card in the pack. Not I think close. Putrim's worse than Lion's Eye Diamond, right? No. What up? Mm. Uh, after we drafted, we went one two, unfortunately. So, you guys think Lion's Eye Diamond? Oh, gross! I just maybe I just I don't think we can actually win with this deck. I guess we'll find out. People are gonna be like, "What are you doing? What are you doing with your life?" This is not worth it. <laughs> This is this is hilarious, dude. Yeah, a lot of our decks we faced had uh, time walk and ways to m double time walk. Like we had an opponent that went time walk, flip Jace, uh, flashback time walk, and kill us. We had an opponent that went time walk, infinite time walks with like Soul Fire Grandmaster. I think that was the same thing. Yeah. Was Treasure Who's the worst pick in this pack? Um, Might be Spyglass. Probably Westville Abbey. All right. Yeah, I guess it's Westvale Abbey. Winter Orb. Is Winter Orb the worst pick in this pack? Is it worse than like Ancient Grudge or Incinerate? Maybe not. And also, we're not like trying to pick the worst card for our deck. We're trying to pick the worst card in the pack, which makes a difference. Probably Incinerate. What do you guys think? Orb? Arbor Elf? I mean, we could pick the the worst card for uh, Arbor Elf. Is definitely not the worst. Grim Lava Mancer, I think. Yeah. I mean, Nizumi Short Fang is probably worse. Think of all the one drops we'll have though that that we won't get countered by this mental misstep. Nice. I feel like we should stick to blue white red just so we have some sort of playable deck um, while still taking the worst blue white red card. Which I think is Grim Lava Mancer. Uh, I think this is actually worse than the auto draft. You mean the deck itself? Yeah. Probably, yeah. Goblin World is so bad. <laughs> but not in general, though. Like in our deck, yes. Yeah. But, like, Chrome Mox is probably the worst pick in this pack. I mean, all of these go in respective archetypes, I think. Chrome Mox does not. Chrome Mox is pretty bad. Really? You get a, you get a turn two. You can, you can, we got empty the Warrens, man. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think Chrome Mox is not great, and that's why we took it. I guess it's Wall of Omens. Oh god, this deck is so bad. It's all good. Are we? Are, do we agree it's Wall of Omens here? That's the weakest card in this I pack. Think so yeah. I'm seeing, like you say, Wall is great. Yeah, I I agree with you. Wall is not bad. I still think it's the weakest card in the pack. What did we take instead? Inferno Titan. All right. Well, that sucks. I thought it was reserved, but oh well. Well, we said Sulfuric Vortex is possibly the last one last time. Um, so we're just going to take it this time because I think it's worse than every other one of these cards. Impulse is probably the weakest of all these. Maybe is it Charm? Uh, Tanglewire is definitely a stronger card than, than Wall of Omens. What do you think? I guess Impulse. Yeah, I think it's Impulse. I think it's more narrow than Is It Charm, and I also think it uh, doesn't have as many modes. Timely Reinforcement's easily the worst card in this pack. Yeah. Spyglass, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well. Ancient Grudge it is. Ancient Grudge it is. And Pride Mage came back. All right, we got a whole other pack, too. Do we get to play the Inferno Titans since you misclicked, or no? I don't think so. That feels disingenuous. Magma Jet? Is Magma Jet the weakest card in this pack? No, it's probably um the 
split card. You think Commit to Memory is weaker than Magma Jet? Yeah. What about Upheaval? Is that a weak card? No. Okay. It'd be really bad in our deck, though. If we come across fixing this pack, we'll probably grab it just because uh, otherwise this is pretty unplayable. That's the whole point, right? Yeah, I think it's Jet. So show and tell is pretty bad. Um, for us, but not in general. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm not a fan of it. This is all I saw in the preview. Also, frightening. Who? All right, what do you think of Magma Jet? Yeah. All right. Oh, we got a batter skull. For someone else. Steam vents? I think it's just steam vents here. <clears throat> like, it's just it just helps our... It helps us have a playable deck. And all these cards are pretty reasonable. Tezzer would probably be the worst card in the pack, I think. In our colors. So, I'm just going to take the steam vent. And, hey, watch where you're going, buddy. Why don't you watch where you're going? Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, my dad. Maybe I am. Are you my dad? Maybe. Oh my god, Control Magic, Council's Judgment. Is it Mind's Desire? I mean, it's bad in our deck, but overall it's a really strong card. I feel like it's the worst Storm card in the cube. Nah. You crazy, boo. <laughs> okay, don't call me that. It's not, not, it's not okay. It's not okay. I think Progenesis is the worst card in the pack. I think it is too, but we're never going to play it. So if we want a playable card, a playable bad card to put in our deck, it's it's Mind's Desire. We yeah, get one hit off of Mind's Desire, which is hilarious. Maybe two, I guess, if we Chrome Mox or you know play a one drop before it. It's not going to be good. No, it's this deck is fantastic. <laughs> I don't think Strip Mind's the worst card in the pack, no. Yeah, Strip Mind's really good. It's definitely Mind's Desire, which is super weird, I agree. Yeah, that's true. The progenus is just going to come back anyway, so. Is it Legion's Land? Is it Falconrath Gorger? Oh, yeah. It's got to be Gorger, right? Every other one, of, other one of these cards I can see playing and have played. Gorger's just not good. But in our deck, in the deck that we're putting together here, it actually seems... It's funny that we end up taking the worst card in each pack, and it almost ends up like a, a red, white, green, red, white, blue aggressive deck. What? It's not that aggressive. Really? We got Goblin Guide. We got Falconrath Gorger. We got Delver of Secrets. That's about it, though. <clears throat> I hate it when people call Thing in the Ice TT. People do that? Yeah, Thing in the Ice. It's the abbreviation. Huh. Yeah, it's real awkward, right? Ooh, Zergo Bell Striker worst card? Um. I think it is straight worse than any one of these cards in this pack. Yeah. Uh, this might be the level up guy though. I think this card's better than this. I think this guy's head and shoulders above Zergo, right? I've never even considered putting a Zergo in my deck, but there are times where I have Student of Warfare in my deck. This deck is hot, hot, hot trash. Ooh, so <sighs> we got some cuts. What up, Hate to Mulligan? Seeker of the Way. Trinket Mage. You think Trinket Mage is the worst card in this pack? Yeah. We can search out our, our Chrome Mox with it. Nice. Is Trinket Mage worse than Seeker of the Way? 100%. Is it? I mean, this guy searches up Moxes and Soul Ring. And Skull Clamps. Right, but as a card, it does that. This is just a 2-2. Two -two. Man, I ain't never know 2 2. What do you guys think? Trigger Mage is great in this format. I think this guy's worse, but. Yeah, I think it's Seeker. I think Seeker's a worse card. Trigger Mage draws you a card. 
Yeah, see? Ooh, Turnabout's got to be the worst card, right? Oh, my. For us, yeah. I think Honor of the Pure is the worst card. Um, Maybe. Oh god, it's only white creatures. Ugh. Oh yeah, you, you thought it was all. Oh, you thought it was just an anthem. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, you're right. Turnabout's actually pretty good in this cube. Yeah, it's definitely honor, which is super awkward. We have like one creature that it pumps. Uh, I think we just take the inspiring vantage here. Sure. It's probably harsh mentor if it's not vantage, but I, you know, we we should probably get a second fixing if we're gonna play three colors, which we kind of have to. A Mirror Angel comes back, and this was actually in contention for one of the worst cards in the pack. Uh, the first go around. Yeah. What up, Roar Spot of Four? <clears throat> so we're gonna take it. Bizarre. It is bizarre. How bizarre? Actually, it's Tezzeret, is it not? No, I think Bizarre is way worse. But we've seen multiple decks with people playing Bizarres, and it's great for certain strategies. I don't think they're right. Though. No one's ever played Tezzeret. I've never played against or with a Tezzeret in this format. What if the, what if we what if we go two one with this deck? I will be very shocked. Shardless is pretty bad, but he's not in our colors, so hey, look, the Progenitus came back. Now we're gonna take Progenitus. Ugh, God, right into the sideboard. I like that we're skipping. We're like passing good Chandra's. I guess it's Legion's Landing. Yeah, card's sure. still pretty bad. Look how good our deck is. Oh, student came back, so no argument. I guess. I guess we got both one drops. Nice. Our deck is actually surprisingly aggressive. I don't think it's going to be good enough. <laughs> Probably lay a line of sanctity. Can... I guess mine's desire. You guess. <laughs> you know. Oh, no. I think corpse stance is worse, so I'm going to take yeah. that. Wow. This deck is... Garbage. It's basically blue white or basically white red. But unfortunately we don't have enough white or red cards to fill it in. We can't even play this Inferno Titan. It was a misclick. We will play Chrome Mox, however. Gross. It is kind of gross. Oh, uh, maybe we don't want Chrome Mox. No. We didn't say we had to play all the bad cards. We oh we can't. Yeah, there's no way we'd have to do that, so. Westfield Abbey might be good in this deck though. Maybe. Kind of hard in the mana, but you mean hard in the paint? Mm -hmm. So we're definitely heavy white red, and we're just splashing blue for a bunch of mental missteps. Not even a one drop, or a, not even a blue card. Three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. So we can go seven, seven, four. I think that's fine. Sure. Wow, he's real out there. Great All right, things. let's see what happens. I think Spyglass is great. Um, I'd rather bring it in, though, because sometimes they just don't have any activated abilities. We also have a Distant Chant, an Ancient Grudge, a Timely Reinforcements, and a Ley Line. So if, if nothing else, our sideboard is stacked. I guess so. For those just joining us, this was a stipulation where we took the worst card in the pack. Not the worst card for our deck, but just the worst card in general for our pack. All right, this is this is a hot it's nightmare. A it's gonna it's gonna be a sweet one. I mean, our only way to win is like flip Delver into Goblin Guide, I think. All right, let's play first. Oh, I forgot we had to empty the worms in our deck. This hand is great though. Look at this. We get to four spike and then play Vanguard. And how can we how can we be defeated? How you how lose? Oh, hey, I like your stuff. All right. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Man, look at this premium marijuana cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the record, that's not a marijuana cigarette. It's just some Hershey wrappers that Michael rolled up into the shape of a doobie. No, man. Marijuana cigarette. Let me see that thing. Look at this. Look what he rolled up. Look at this. <laughs> look at this Hershey spliff. <laughs> okay. Get it out of my way. 
Oh, we can play this and still keep up Force Spike? Or we can just play this guy. Yeah, what's he going to have on turn two? Yeah, famous last words. Oh, they didn't have anything on turn two. This is great news. Told you. You did told me. I wonder if we actually save this to play with Empty the Warrens to make four dudes. Because next turn we can go Miri Angel, and then the turn after that we can go Legion's Landing, four dudes. That does make Empty the Warrens somewhat playable. Yeah, and we get five tokens from that. Five tokes. Why would we slide out Empty? It's one of the best cards in our deck. Um, I'm not so sure about that. <clears throat> oh, we can actually suspend that. And if we hit a land, we can cast... Empty Fist Landing. That's pretty good. I'm going to do that. Plus, I'd rather play a Mirror Angel on turn. We have a land. You have to pay for Rodonto every time. Every time what? Just in general? You could just die. Oh, God. Be a Jace the Mind Sculptor. I want to force spike a Jace the Mind. Oh, yeah. That's fine. We got him with the force spike. Boop, boop, boop. They were going to steal our Adanto. All right. One land. Any land will do, except for one, except for Inspiring Vantage. Oh, my God. How is this real? Oh, no. I still think it's four goblins. Next time we can play both of these and flip it immediately. I don't think our opponent... Water Sports Drew with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. I don't think it's that our opponent's deck is that bad. Uh, I think it's a matter of our cards are that bad. We've literally only presented them with an Adanto Vanguard. So they're like, all right, I'll... Uh, I guess I'll take that. How is this deck real? I don't know. Watch us go three zero with this deck. I'd be, I'd be, I would laugh my that ass would be off. Hilarious. I would, I could, I would laugh for days. I mean, what, what do you have? He's dead. No, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Well, at least the Danto sure. Vanguard does some does some business. Ooh, That's actually pretty good if we can get that. it. We'll put Jace to like one, I think. No, one, two, three. We'll put it at two. Oh, KGX Reload. Thank you so much for the sub. Awesome. Welcome to the Soul Time Brood. You are a wonderful, wonderful person. Don't hit a land. No land for you. Oh, Frosty. No, well, that's a thing. I feel like Sulfuric Vortex would probably just kill them if we hit a red here. Oh, we should have attacked with one more. Why didn't we flip this? Ah, we couldn't have activated it this turn anyway, so I'm, I'm going to not feel terrible about it. Here comes old Frosty. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. I was like, oh, well, there's no point in attacking with these guys. My plan was to literally attack with three just to flip this. That's why I played it. But, I mean, it's the same thing if we do it next turn. It's no big deal. Don't do it. Don't do it. You know it's Wrath of God. And then we didn't get to flip this. That's really bad. That is a sad. Oh, and you got a counterspell, boy? <clears throat> Maybe I just keep attacking them to two. Oh, dang it. Maybe I just keep attacking them to two in hopes that the Sylvia Vortex resolves. Yeah. Maybe it's better. 
Yeah, like we they could have been at uh three right now. Man, Legion's landing. If see here's the funny thing, if Legion's landing would have flipped, we would have had the extra to pay for Amiria. Little things like that, man. Little little percentage points. Um, yeah, that's probably correct. I mean, the problem is that they get their Frost Titan and they can copy Frost Titan. Yep, so they took image and planes. Oh, I see. Well, that is unfortunate. Red. Yes. Yes. Oh, come on, really? Yeah. <sighs> Having an Amiri would have been really strong. I mean they steal the Amiri instead. Oh my god, of course you have days and counterspell. That's just sad days. Yep, that's basically the death knell. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like we actually have to chump block if we don't draw anything next turn just to deal with these guys. Yep. Watch him. He just attacks and taps down the lava mancer and we die. Yep. That'll do, pig. All right. So. Disenchant. They do have control magic. We saw that. They have supreme verdict. Disenchant's probably better than empty the warns. Really? They made four dudes. I think empty is actually pretty good in this deck. Like, we have a ton of one drops to make a five mana empty the Warrens for four one ones. I think that's actually pretty good. Um. What does Leyline prevent? Leyline prevents their Jace from negativing. Yeah, that's about it. Hmm. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. That's from uh, Power Rangers. Does this hit anything? I don't think this hits anything. Bring in Spyglass. The deck is miserable. It's not good. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Get there. I think we did get there. They kept on seven. So the old eight to five start. No, oh Mike. Every time with Bonfire. Have uh, we ever had a Bonfire work out, ever? No, it's a terrible card. Miracle is not a fun mechanic. Oh, wow. Well. All right, well, game over, boys. He has a 1-3. <laughs> oh, they whiffed, though. Got a whiff. Now it's a race. The race is on. Should have attacked. Oh, wait, you can't gain life because of the Vortex. Never mind. Well, also, they were just blocked. Oh, yeah. Which, that would have killed it. Yeah, I would rather prevent them from attacking than us Oops. attack once. This is why you play. They should have attacked right another one, one another literal creature that's right there. Now we're always gonna yield to this because Hey, bonfire wasn't the worst. We can just get him with it. 
bonfire. You'll get caught up in the. That's from uh. That's from uh. That's from Crossfire. Augur needs to be banned. Uh, not really my opinion on Augur, but <laughs> I can see why you'd have such strong feelings. From this position, that's true. We cannot lose. Oh, they discarded two planes. Interesting. I mean, I guess it's not that interesting. It's just an artifact. Interesting. The heat is on. I love Beverly Hills Cop. And Beverly Hills Cop 2. Beverly Hills Cop 3 was kind of hit or miss. How do you feel about it? Never seen them. Oh, boy. I thought you liked movies, man. No. I yeah. hate everything. I know. That's fine. That's a two for one. A two for two. Draw. We just bond them for two? No. One day, though. One day. It's a vortex. Wouldn't it work? He always ignores the pig question. Ah, not falling for the old banana in the tailpipe, eh? Oh, that's a good card. I wish we could top-thick this now. Perfect draw. Absolutely perfect. I can't think of a better draw. I feel like anyone who plays against us is going to be like, um, this dude's terrible. And I'm going to be like, yeah, you're, you're right. Not good. Oh, we're officially losing the race now. You think so? We can just, no, we, we're, oh yeah, we go to eight. And then we crack back for three and then two. So then when they go to like none. None, huh? Yeah, bro, you heard. Mm, I'm not so sure. You know. We go to one. We take five and then two. We're still alive. We're like Pearl Jam, bro. Hey, hey, uh -huh. <laughs> oh, KGX Reload. Five hundred bits. Thank you so much, man. Been reading articles about your content for some years now. Have the cash support. Thank you so much, dude. You are awesome. Oh, look, they have a. Well, we're dead. Well, I'm not going to pay four here. Oh, I see. You're going to. Oh, we are going to bonfire for two. <laughs> great that's great oh that's unfortunate all impulse has it right i guess i mean we're dead right yes no we're not dead yet i'll take that maybe we're not dead are we Probably. Just attack us great. No, we're gonna we're gonna bonfire for one and take out this this resto. And they go to ten. God, they're basically dead. They can't win. The heat is on. I mean, we're 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 dead though. Yep. Go to one. If they don't counter this and it just gets through, we we would just win because if we deal them five. Oh no, we'd be dead to uh, yeah, to Ojitai. Yeah. We lose by one. Why even kill this? Sure. All right. Not not our worst performance. Not our best performance. It was pretty bad. I do like that we're giving all the people that are playing against us, uh, you know, free wins. This is also probably going to be a pretty quick draft, so. Cool. I mean, we have 17 lands. There's no reason you think that... at least Moto could let us not have to mulligan into Oblivion, you know? Right, like, they should probably be like, hey. I think we bottomed that. Hey, we understand you're playing literally subpar cards. Um...
The heat is on. Is it? The heat is on, Mitchell. Force mono white next one, huh? Okay. I think that's probably doable. I actually like the mono white deck a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. That's Jim Carrey from the movie. My dad. That's not Jim Carrey from your dad. Yeah, it is. Can't that's true. Me. Both round one and round two are big fans, so that's cool. She's got a way about her. Don't know what it is. Yeah, we're playing free win. No, we're playing we're playing free win Jess guy. Well, you know, a bottle of red, a bottle of white. <laughs> Go on. It all depends upon your appetite. I'm just gonna run my student warfare into this guy. If you want to trade. Is that a good thing? Yes, please. They got they got rampers? I'll trade a one one for a ramper. For a ramper. Yeah, you know, old rampy. If we draw planes, we can double level this. If we draw a Mountain, we can play this in prowess. If we pl if we draw anything else, well, we'll have to find out. Oh, uh, I haven't seen any of the pedophile judge evidence and accusations, but that's definitely not something I want to talk about in in my stream. Um, sounds pretty unfortunate and a little un d disconcerting. I ain't heard nothing about that. Oh, we got the O ring on the seeker. Oh, O-Ring on student. Oh. You know what? I am going to play this because it triggers this guy. You know what? They missed a land drop? This is how we win. Not with a bang, but with a with a whisper. <laughs> Whatever that means. Uh, cast... That guy's avatar. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's an interesting avatar. Oh, it's Frenetic Afrit. Don't know what it is. Oh, water sports drew. Do you not know what the deck? Oh, I forgot, to play, forgot to play land. That's because I played this stupid thing. Arr. Water sports drew. The draft was you pick the worst card. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Yeah, we could have played a mirror angel this turn. That's sad. We've made two pretty critical misplays, at least in these two games, which is really sad. Oh uh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't ban you for asking. That's weird. Um, it does seem like a pretty controversial topic, though, and uh, I would not want to comment on something like that without knowing the details, which I which I do not know. Does Mike have a marijuana cigarette? <laughs> what he has is a Hershey's wrapper that looks no, like a split. It's a marijuana cigarette. Don't be saying that on stream. That's legal in Florida. I got a, I got a doctor's license. A doctor's license. Yeah. Yeah, we can tell. You you probably need that doctor's license. Yeah, this is game's decks looking good, boy. It's a very old Twinkie. It looks good until they steal this right now with either Sower of Temptation or Control Magic. I like your sash, boy. I don't like you, boy. I thought it was his big nose to be. <laughs> okay, well that was a that was a coffer. I think we just win. I think we've just won this game. Slow down. Oh, always yes to that too. I used to like you, Frank. I still do, but I used to. Oh, I appreciate that. I'm glad we covered the whole gamut of of likeage. Well, we get to deal five, and then we're playing an, a Van Gogh. Oh, we just got to kill you? Yeah, we'll do that. You're a little too scary for my tastes. You're a little too scary for my tastes. A little too scary for my tastes. Do you like when I talk like that? It's all right. Smoking through your nose just gets into the brain quicker. See, that's tech. That's that marijuana cigarette. <laughs> I can't even say marijuana cigarette without laughing. Oh, what a ridiculous phrase. 
My buddy told me a story the other day about how his boss telling about his boss telling him that he used to smoke a lot of pot, but he kept getting the terms wrong. He said he smoked a lot of spleefs. Oh, Michael, oh, Michael, barbably boo. You deserve so much better than how Frank sometimes treats you. You have a great laid back attitude. You keep Frank from tilting, but hey, he has nipples. so He may just need milking. Wow. That's amazing. That's that the most was, amazing uh, thing. That was quite the rhyme scheme. Man. I haven't fiction on. I haven't seen you in ages, man. We just want to. We just want a game. Uh, spoiler for those just joining us. Uh, our stipulation. We had a stipulation was to draft the worst card in the pack. Uh, so this is the monstrosity you're looking at. Spyglass seems okay. You want to do a pretty draft next? Oh, you could. You want. You want to take the prettiest card? Mm -hmm. A mental misstep actually seems like it could be good in this matchup. Because they could have a lot of one mana nerds. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, good talk. Good talk. It was not a good talk. But it was not a good talk. It was bad talk. I'm trying to draw this gutter snipe so that gutter sniping can be can live his life happily. Forty one special. The special. Oh, God. Not only do I not want this in my hand, I don't want any of these cards. But that's just the way the deck is built. This is actually significantly better. Yeah, we'll keep that, sure. Oh, sure, that's that's just great. Oh. Trouble's a brewing. Uh-oh. Oh, God. I'm uncomfortable. Oh boy. I'm sure this goblin guy will get the job done. Hi -oh! Like he can't. I mean, they only have two cards left in their hand. We'll oh, have Crucible. To All right. That's true. They only have two cards and they have now a Crucible, which doesn't do much on this board unless they're one of the cards in their hand is a strip mine, in which case they just strip mine our whole life. Ready? Here it is. Oh, they're just going to. All right, they're going to play the Crucible first. Because we know they have it. Then they're going to slow roll the, the strip mine. You ready? Oh, just a Garrick. Okay. Ba -da 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 -da. This is our oh, turn two. Game's oh. over. They have a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We did it. We see one of the two cards in their hand. That's pretty good. I'm just waiting for them to draw the strip mine because that's strip mine crucible fast bond is like the uh, it's pretty bonkers. The starter pack. Yeah, it's the well, it's, I think it's the the expert pack. Four ninety nine on eBay. Wow, for the expert pack, that's pretty yeah. good. That's a good deal, dude. Yeah, it's on sale. Wow, it's is only it only nine hundred ninety nine dollars ninety nine cents? That's a real good discount. <laughs> <laughs> My God, was that nine hundred ninety five dollar discount? Something like that. Car Maverick, what's going on? Small portable fan. Appre <laughs> appreciate it. I appreciate... Oh. No, I see. That's rude. I don't want you to do that. I'm going to I'm gonna go to the next game. Already? They have one, two, three, four, five. They have six mana right now. They got an impulse, though. Oh. Goody. Oh, hi, doggy. Mmm, <laughs> boy. What'd they get? Muldrifter? Hasn't there already been like three different Goblin God arts? Actually, the island's just the one I want. Island is the one I want. This, yeah. this is a hit song from Michael Barbablibu's first album. You guys heard it here first. Oh, we can play multiple things this turn. Island is the one I want. Here's Delver to flip. All right, here we go. 
Pentad Prism, untap two. Mole Drifter Ruski. Got him. Got him. We did not get him. Ah, ha, ha, this oh, now even forgot we got flips. It's useless. I mean, our Delver. What did you say to me? Why did we do this? Why did we do what? Why did we do this? The dra Why are you burping into the microphone? It wasn't my attention. It wasn't your attention? Yeah. There you go. You ready? Bonfire. It's going to be bonfire. Do you want to reveal this card? Magma Jet. Yes. Reveal it. Yeah, now we can Magma Jet is Mole Drifter. Yeah, I'm okay with all these things that are happening. Do it to me one more time. I did it for Hawsey, man. I want to put both these on the bottom. Yeah, they don't seem great. I do not want them. I guess we hit Garrick because... Do I care about Garrick? I don't think so. You can, yeah, you can, you can ultimate Garrick and attack me for six with your Beast Arena. Maybe we should have actually attacked with everything and flipped. Like, we lose either a Goblin Guide or a Vampire, but we get the mana. A Goblin Guide or a Vampire. Did you say, or? Why are we, why are we choosing? Because you have to. No. One day. When? One day. Okay. <laughs> that's a good that's a good that's a good joke. This uh we're not Storm. By any way. We had to take the worst card in the pack, so Empty the Warrens was the worst card in the pack outside of a Storm deck. As you can see, oh her they're attacking us. Interesting. Is this where they wipe the board? What are they doing? Are they playing an Inferno Titan? Are they going to go 2 1? Oh, God. Well, they didn't have their. Oh, God. Primeval Titan? Oh, God. What's happening? That's more than a Primeval Titan. Genesis Wave? Oh, boy. Upheaval. <coughs> You're not a good person. Upheaval fast bond, eh? I mean, we got a Goblin Guide. He's basically dead. You're right. I guess we just get the. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, they also got to re return their Pentad Prism, which is really funny. Like, ha ha funny, or? No. Yeah, this seems fair. I think we're dead. I think we're just fine, Mitchell. So we only have Crucible, Pentad. I think that's all we know. I ain't dead until I'm dead in the ground. This is three. This could be three. Could be. Maybe not. Kubi. Kubi? Who's Kubi? Is that your side piece? Yeah, that's my side piece. Oh, that's old Kubi. Come on at me. Come at me, beast. Garrick's beast here. That's like an LA beast meme. Thank you. Have a good day. There's a pentad prism. Oh no, why you do this? You don't even have white mana. What in the earth are you doing? Wrecking us. This game's over, B. I'm gonna go to the next game. Maybe. No, we should. We mm -hmm. can't beat two three threes. That's the game over. Wow, we can't beat two three threes? No. Our deck is actually incapable of that. Maybe. I made a 1-1. One, one. I don't care what you say about me. I got the power. You got the touch. You got the power. That's a good jam. Oh, I see. That is not the land I would have made. Uh... It's a little risky. Yeah, that's a good one. I guess we'll take 10. Is that all? I mean, we gain one when we attack. I don't know what the problem is. Uh, the problem is we'll go to five and then die. <laughs> God, you're a real hater. You know that? No. Which cause How do we lose? Them. How do we lose? Uh, did you read the card you picked up? or? No. Uh, you didn't pick up the card. It's, uh, it's on the internet. I can't actually pick it up. Uh. I don't know what you're doing right now.
Oh boy. Oh That's boy. That's important my desire. No. Why not? Because we can't even trigger empty the Warrens for two, let alone mine's a desire. Not with that attitude. Oh my god. Is this a keepable hand? Why do we get the mulligan all these hands? I it's close to being good. This is way worse. Yeah, but you gotta keep this. I guess so. Oh that got better. <clears throat> You got the touch. You got the Mac B. You've got the touch. You've got the Mac B. You heard me. You did. You'll never hear me again. It's unfortunate. Oh, I should have played Sorcerer Spyglass and then named Polluted Delta. That would have been sick. This cracks in response. Sometimes people won't catch that. It's real subtle. Subtle. Subtle as my eggs. Did you say subtle as my eggs? I may have. What does that even mean, man? Just think about it. You want me to think about subtle as your eggs? Is that mm -hmm. what you want me to think about? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, let's name Xenagos. Your hand is bad. Oh, uh, the Which Reveler, right? I don't know. Yeah. That'd be really bad if we named the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, we're like Xenagos the God, and you're like, I don't I don't have that. Oh dang it. Next turn, we can empty the Warrens for two one ones. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy, huh? All right, you got that card. What did you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Can you answer me? I want to know what you'd do. Now that you've got the touch. Now that you've got the power. Subtle as my eggs. You didn't say that, though. You didn't. Maybe you didn't. You made a false quote. You said it. It's false news. Oh, they drew Nissa in two turns. In two turns since we played this, they've drawn another Planeswalker that is extremely powerful. They keep making their dual lands four fours instead of their regular forests, which is weird. It's a little strange. It's not ideal. If we draw a one drop next turn, we can actually go empty for four and then Westvale Abbey to flip it. Oh, we're one man away from killing their board. That's still pretty good. Oh, wow. I wish we had four mana here. That would kill Nyssa and kill Breeding Pool. <sighs> That's brutal. Still going to do it for three. You should get rid of Nissa here. Oh, God. If it was only next turn, though, dude. What do you do? We could have literally taken care of all of them. Delta Nexus three to their face, and they'd have one less land. Man. Bonfire. All right. We're just going to top take another bonfire and do it for four and kill both these guys now. You'll get caught up in the bonfire. One or two drop. That's not what we wanted. That's a no good, huh? It's where they block and we pay four. Yeah.
and then we go to four. And we kind of have to, right? Do we? What's our plan otherwise? A trade? I think we're dead again. Man, we won a game though, so that's good. Shocker. What a train wreck this this match has been. This this draft has been, I should say. Why do we do this? Well, I mean, I why think it's... A why do we do this? Any land, any, any card that I can play. Eight, eight, That'll do. Eight. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Now we have six creatures, so we can Ormondal next turn if we're not dead. Get them. They have two cards. All right. One of them is a Xenagos, actually. That's great. Okay, so we know one of the two cards in their hand. It doesn't do anything. All right, one non Xenagos card in your hand. Can we Ormondal? Oh, they didn't attack a Ruski. What are the odds of this? It's your boy, Ormondal. What can you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? One one. Uh, if they want a beast within our indestructible, uh, indestructible Ormondal, they are more than welcome to do so. This dude it does not take kindly to a beast. I guess they could have beast within in response. That would have been a thing. They could beast within yeah. the Westvale Abbey in response. All right. All right. Wow, we're one one. Shocker. That is that is the the highest of my expectations. I did not expect to be one one. Ooh, man, this is this is ridiculous. Leopold, what did you say? Did you say you donate bits if what? Ben's plan B, good game. Um, we actually had a stipulation where we had to draft the worst cards, so I think we just got lucky against you to actually win. So um <laughs> keep this hand. This hand is probably the best hand we've had so far. Oh, look at this guy. Let's play old Grimmy. Yeah, the upheaval fastball is pretty pretty sick. That's always a pretty pretty strong play. Hey, Frank McFanny videos, thanks for much. <laughs> Well, at least we played three fans, so that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I really got upset with myself for giving them a scalding turn, and then I realized that wasn't my scalding turn. Oh, they got the old Maelstrom Pulse on top. It's a good one. It's not a bad one. It's not bad. We'll play old Sneaker of the Way. Don't be, don't be Blackland. Some Island. Sneaker of Way. Bits are just like cool ways to interact with chat. Or with the with the streamer rather. Like instead of just donating money, you actually get, donate bits and then they show up on the screen and they have animations and it's just it's just a cool way to donate. 
That, I assume, will be a Den Protector. Because that's all they ever are. That's like the only morph creature in this queue, I believe. You can get bits from watching ads. I ain't never gotten any bits. Maybe if you weren't such a son of a bits. Wow. Get wrecked. You did get wrecked. Well, we're not attacking here. Oh, a Swambarooski. Patrick Kirby with the sub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Why, are, why isn't the music coming up? I don't know. That's weird. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Salt High Brew. Really appreciate it. You are great. Oh, look. Someone else has Charter Course in their deck. It's not just an us thing. <laughs> yep. I had a feeling that guy was dead. But that's okay, because we get to... Uh, is it okay? Yeah, we get to Impulse, and then we get to Grim Lava Mancer, this guy. But how do we win the game? Uh, impulse and Grim Lava Mancer. Hmm. I'm not so sure. You'll be sure. You'll be sure to die. <laughs> right? No. No? Oh. I think it's just Delver here. See, the good thing is, my exiling is part of the cost. Theirs is not. So if they try to exile Seeker in response, that doesn't happen until the uh, the effect. So in response, I could exile both of these cards and kill their morph creature. Aaron Campbell, what's going on, buddy? I am going to kill this nerd. I killed the morph instead because it's probably scarier. And I don't want them to flip it because that's a den protector, so they're probably just going to get back Maelstrom Pulse, which is bad. Especially when we have Empty the Warrens. It's always den protector. Pretty much. <clears throat> not, I don't think there's any other Morphs in that cube. I don't think there's any Morphs in that cube. Wow. I don't think there's any Morphs in that cube. I don't think there's any Morphs in that cube. Dancing naked in the streets for, for a banned Deathrite Shaman is quite a testament to your feelings here. Patrick Kirby, I didn't see the I didn't see the bits. Hmm. Yeah. It's actually, I mean, as a dredge player, um, I can imagine you're uh not incredibly fond of of Death Rite Shaman. Oh, we got in there. Prize the Malcolm. I'll take that. Oh, God. Pl the play every card you draft, no sideboard is pretty brutal. Yeah, but at least you get to pick what you like getting. What was on top last time? Charter Course? Yeah, so they're going to draw a Kite Sail. Oh, great. They're going to just take him to the Warrens. That's brutal. <gasps> they're not taking Empty the Warrens. Are you going to flip? Uh, Hazaret. No, 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 we're not going to reveal that. Look at all my dudes. Where do you stand on whether cereal is soup? Girl, I'm trying to get rid of mine. Aaron, you're amazing. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Oh, boy. Cereal is not a soup. Yeah, I don't know what you're thinking. Hazzy would not get to attack because we'd still have... We'd have two cards in hand. We'd have planes and we'd have... Uh, empty the Warrens. Hmm. 
Patrick, was this today? I haven't seen any. I've only seen one bit donation today. Unless I'm just missing something. Cheetos are not soup, just like a hot dog is not a sandwich. That's correct. Both of these are true. Just like a uh, cheesecake is not a cake. A hot dog is closer to a taco than a sandwich. More like a talk dog? Yeah. A hot taco dog? I don't even know what they have. I think they have chart. And I think they have um, kite sail. I'm pretty sure that's two of the three cards in their hand. And they got a, den, a cutie den protector. JK, that guy's not a cutie. Do I just... I'm going to block this guy with four goblins, but then they just get it back? Ugh. I'll take two. Why don't I attack with Scarab God there, I wonder. What is it? Mirror Angel? No. Boom. <laughs> Ahako. Okay. I don't know what's going on right now. Discussion about foods. This is my favorite. Crunchy peanut butter all day. I think creamy is better on sandwiches, but I do like crunchy peanut butter. No way, Jose. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't know we couldn't be friends all of a sudden. I don't know what to do here. We could play Hazaret and just attack. That's a hard card to deal with. But in order to do that, we'd have to play... I'm just going to play the Amiri Angel here. And make a bird. Put a bird on it, as, as you say. <laughs> Chad hasn't been this divided since cheese on ramen. <laughs> oh, it always comes back to the cheese on ramen, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And the Kool-Aid milk. Yeah, those are all gross things. Some tap away. I imagine you're going to scry your Demir signal to the bottom. Oh, mother of Jesus. We can't win anymore. I don't think we ever could. I don't think we ever could. Not one of my creatures can block this because they can't be blocked by power less than theirs. All right, cool. Here comes Consecrated Sphinx. Can I skip my draw phase? I really want to. All right, so we know they have Kite Sail, Chart, and uh, that's it. Oh, and that. Yeah. <laughs> Mountain. No. So they're 24. Yeah, it's not good, man. I'm going to be honest with you. Even Hazard just gets blocked by Consecrated Sphinx. Yeah, we can shoot him a bunch. Um, I think by a bunch you mean once. And... Uh, we can do it like twice. How? Just pay six. We only have one card. We, we don't even have... How many lands we got? Three, six... Oh, yeah. Never mind. We're dead. Uh-huh. Go to the scoop phase. Yeah, we're definitely going to the scoop phase. That might have actually been insane next turn. We would have done it for one. Oh, no, they drew a mana leak. Five, oh, no. We know they have mana leak in hand. But we would have had a land. We could have, we could have done it for greedily six, or we could have done it for three, which doesn't do anything. So I don't feel terrible about that, I guess. What do we see? I have abilities. Just Deathrite Shaman, pretty much. Yeah. Do snakes have tails? <laughs> oh, Lord. Snakes are all tail. Just a danger noodle. <laughs> Oh, man. If they did not draw Mana Leak, like, 
Oh boy. I was a danger noodle once. Yeah. Did you see this card? Yeah, it's real good. It literally has a Sphinx's Revelation on it. Yeah. Oh, boy, this card is broken. It also, like, blinks removal for the turn it comes into play, pretty much. Oh, quote 20 might just be the not the most recent quote. Maybe it's just a random quote, right? Hmm. Interesting. Eat the snake's knee. What does this even mean? What's going on right now? Do snakes have knees? I don't think so. You have a knee. I have a knee, Greg. Did Can I not you submit? snake me? Clearly not. No, I might have, and then I moved something. I, like, added this accidentally, and I changed it out, so. I wonder if Winter Orb is good here. I guess we'll never know. Sand actually seems good. If we can draw one blue source, I think we got a game here. You get real close to that mic, man. Yeah, well, I don't want him to be able to hear me. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say. Can we draw a blue mana so we can go Delver Legion's Landing and flip this on turn three? No, the answer is no. Look at my board, man. We're, we can't lose this game. That's what you say now. Are you still showing off that mountains quote? Oh my god, you're ridiculous. What did you say? Couldn't tell you. Why not? Did I have to kill you? Hmm. That is sad, isn't it? It's very sad. Is it Sulfur Vortex or Gutter Snipe here? I think it's snipe so we can attack and uh, flip next turn. Okay. And then if we draw blue, we can play Empty the Warrens and Delver, which is pretty good. Striking them bells. Strike them bells. You okay? No, that was good. Okay, thank you. Ring my bell. Wow. We just got four spiked. Ooh. I guess now we know right. how it feels. I tried to hunter your comments, but Twitch doesn't work that way. Here we go. Something's good. Old Ashy. Well, they hit Seeker and a Flicker Wisp. Both are very good. Oh, take it easy, you maniac. Never. Yeah, we'll go we'll go out at Ashy. Redirect? Can we redirect? Yeah. It's no, dangerous. No tricks. Well, I mean otherwise they could have played Seeker or Flicker Wisps. Wow, Hazard and Goblin Guide. Alright, you're doing good. They have not hit any blue sources yet. No one ever pays me in gum. Oh. Interesting. But you only have one creature right now. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. I like that you didn't tap that. Whoa, we got a block here, boys. 
What are you tapping? Sure, that's fine. I didn't want that anyway. And we're definitely going to redirect to your Ashy Larry. Oh my god, stop taking my things, dude. Steam Vent. Alright, they have three cards. That's a good one. That's a good one, as they say. That is good. <clears throat> Oh my god, they just get guys back. I don't think we can win now. I knew that for the moment this game started. <laughs> oh boy. Boy, oh boy, Michael. You saw that as Ashiok, right? Then he just eats a guy, lets Ashiok die, and then he has like tons of things to reanimate. True. I don't know what else we could do. I don't either, man. We can't even gain life. Turns out when you draft a bunch of garbage, your deck is garbage. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the old garbage theorem. That's a that's a that's a classic one. It's right next to E equals M C squared. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. I would just concede. Wow, really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Goonies never say die. They should. Sometimes they should. You're right. Yeah, we did the worst card step. You just thought you thought we uh Oh, I see. How about the mono red? We we just did a worst card step. I see what you did there. <laughs> Ricky Ticky Tavy. No one's talking about Ricky Tiki Tavi. Some people are. Name one person, Mitchell. My dad. Oh, interesting. I didn't know your dad was a Ricky Tiki Tavi fan. Yeah, a lot of things you don't know about my dad. That's true. I don't know much about your dad. What are you tapping down? That land? Okay. If only we could gain life. You can ring my bell. Why is this song stuck in my head? I don't know. You started singing it. Ring my bell. All right. You reanimate here. You get a, get a gutter snipe. Look at this gutter snipe. Remember that time gutter snipe was on our, our side? No. Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought you might remember that. You thought wrong. Mitch. Mitch. Yeah, I know. Did you only have two cards in hand, which is nice. Um. Bottom you. Top you. If only we had one more land, we could Delver as well, but our deck is only meant to, to, earn, to empty the Warrens twice. Look at all those chump blockers we made. You're right. You're right, Michael. They're going to chump block quite well. Oh, they tapped a guy down. Whatever that means. They're going to make a deal. They're going to Vortex. They didn't make a dude. All right. If we did a step where we only drafted cards that have a widely known nickname, I'm pretty sure we'd be really conflicted on a lot of cards because there's probably only like 15, 10 to 15 cards in the cube that have widely known nicknames. Here comes Consecrated Sphinx. I will chump block whichever guy you attack with. Anyone. A rhythm stip? Each card name has to rhyme with the rudest one? Oh, God. 
See, that's not even possible. That seemed pretty difficult. Uh, guess we'll block. Friendly wager, eh? Hmm. Oh, I see. Well, that is unfortunate. Well, on that note, I think we've uh, ended our run here. They just go this for one. Kills all of these guys. Wow, that's the perfect answer to all these guys. Otherwise, we have a tank. They could block here. They take five. They go to five. We make a blocker. We got another blocker. Maybe they don't do it. I don't know. I have my doubts. The problem is, even if we play both of these, they still make a guy during their upkeep. And we just, we have no way to keep guys on board when they have pernicious deed out. So, that'll be the end. All right. Unfortunately, we went 1-2 with this deck. But that's actually better than I thought we were going to do. And it was still fun to see how the deck performed and draft the worst cards. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And uh, feel free to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And I'll see you next time.